is us. Those nasty hobbitses. They steal my precious. I must find it. I must have it. I need it. Thus, the precious is here. I seize it. If Hobbit loses, we eat some home. Yes, if you, in case you didn't notice about my beautiful Smeagol Gollum impression, we are going to go over the second installment of The Harpitzels. Yes, we are going to go over The Hobbit, and more, can I say, <clears throat> more dragony, more fire-breathing dragons <clears throat> than I like to imagine. Oh, sorry, that actually hit my throat in a weird way. And we are actually back, everyone, with a continuation of the story of the adventures of Mr. Abilbo Baggins. But don't worry, I won't make a hobbit out of it. Wow. Seriously? Just... Wow. Anyway, this is the second installment of the Hobbit franchise. And yes, it is just as long and just as much dialogue as its last, as its last one. Um, but don't let that scare you. Uh, this one was actually better in a lot of aspects. Um, it, it was. And I, I don't know why, but I was actually very entertained with this one. Uh, I was because, I mean, to beginning, it starts... In the beginning, it was kind of a snooze fest. You know, I'm sorry, but the first inst that's exactly what the first installment was. You know, I get that it's an intro film, and, you know, but you have to, like, fast forward, like... 45 minutes or, or possibly more just to start the actual action in, in the first one. But unlike the first one, this has immediate action and the right way to do the backstory of a character, if you will. Uh, it, it gives a, uh, In the first, like, five minutes, it actually gives you a little snippet of um, what happened to one of the characters. So unlike some other films I saw this year, <coughs> Thor, cough, <coughs> Who said that? Seriously? Anyway. It is good because it's actually a continuation uh, a continuation right away. A continuation basically meaning it takes place from where we actually left off from the previous uh, installment. It may not be the exact moment, but around it. I mean, and I don't mean like it's a few years after or a few months after. I mean physically like probably within a day or two uh, of each other. And, um, and I love it when films do that because, uh, to me, it makes the film a lot better to watch, especially when you do, uh, a consecutive marathon. Because, because look, in my mind, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but if there's a sequel, uh, if there's going to be a sequel, and especially if there, like I said, if there's going to be a sequel, it's better to have the previous, the first one, leave on a cliffhanger and then have each film after that pick up from where it left off. It's just, it makes the story whole. It's, and the thing is, I've seen a lot, I see a lot of movies, and, I, and I've realized that when you continue a story from where it left off, it's a lot better on the audience to go, oh, right, I remember that, they were there, I can't believe that they're still there. It's not like where... In some other films where you'll get the cliffhanger and then go, t like, years later, like, maybe a year or two later, and then it's just really annoying to see that. And I, and I really hate seeing that in, in a lot of films. But but that's what, and that's what the, uh, that's what Hobbit does. You know, it gives you an explainer of the who, what, wh uh, what, and why of uh, Thorn of Good Shield. Um, but... You know, but the way it was done was actually great. Unlike some other film or films that shall were named nameless, Thor. <coughs> Seriously, who keeps on doing that? That is really annoying. Um. Anyway, there there were certain elements that were really enjoyable, especially the uh, the fighting. I don't know what they did, but they completely stepped up their game big time. The elf fights and the orc fighting the river fellow, uh, the orcs fighting the uh, river uh, fellowship. In my opinion, they were the they were my favorite scenes because I loved watching it. It was continuous action. It it, it was just a, a big fun experience to watch. And uh, you know, I, I did, however, find it interesting what they did with certain characters, especially with the characters that were made up. 
you know, just uh, for the for the sequels in general, like Evangeline Lily's character, I don't know if you guys know that, but her character was actually just made up for the sequels. Basically, from what I saw, only to give love interest and clearly to cause problems throughout the ranks of the film. Um, there's actually a funny story with her, with her and her character. Lily actually told Peter Jackson, the director, that uh, because of her show history, mainly her role as Kate in Lost, if you don't know that, you should, um, she didn't want her character to be in a love triangle. The funny part about that film, about that, about that part, is they filmed it with her not ha being in that triangle, but then I guess Jackson realized, hey, we actually need some interest here, and they actually put her in a love triangle in the film. So I actually find that very interesting and very funny. I actually found it very funny. You know, I it it was just complete and utter surprise and uh, well, not really surprised because it's Peter Jackson. So sometimes you know what you're getting from him. Basically, epicness and awesomeness. Um, but I did love the cast in this film, by the way, uh, especially with Benedict Cumberbatch as the dragon. Personally, uh, personally though, I'd rather have John Hurt. Pause for those who get that reference. Um, you also have um, Ian McKellen, Martin Freeman, as brilliant as always and fantastic in the roles like from from the previous installment. Um, I actually found it interesting that uh, Freeman really didn't have a big. I wouldn't say big role, but he he didn't talk a lot in this one, which is okay. You know, I don't mind it, you know, considering, you know, these films have a lot of dialogue. But I did find it interesting that it was, um, it was mostly about Thorin. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the, re uh, with the rest of the franchise. Um, but I did find, I did like them in all those. I enjoyed it. It was a fun cast. Great scenes. Uh, the, and the scenery was beautiful to look at. Uh, overall, a good sequel. Recommended, especially if you're a fan. Please check it out. Um, you should also check out uh, my channel. Please should like, subscribe. Uh, my channel. Oh, I'm sorry. This just in. We are going over Anchorman 2 with Ron Burgundy. So stay tuned, Garbarians.